Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage. I'm Leslie Watkins and today is Watercolor Wednesday. So I've been working a lot with this Butterfly Brilliance bu uh, bundle, which I really love, which is the stamps and the die cuts. And I have a, a big workshop coming up featuring these products and a series of pop-up cards. On Monday, I showed you how to make a note card box. And on Saturday, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very special card. So you might want to mark that on your calendar for uh, paper crafting Saturday at 12 noon <clears throat> and bring your coffee. In fact, <clears throat> I could use some coffee right now. And uh, to prepare for Saturday's class, I'm going to show you today how to make a very simple wash um, using water-based inks this time. You would do just the same with watercolors, but I'm going to be using the water-based inks because I have some particular colors that I want to have in my wash <clears throat> so that it, it coordinates with this box. Okay, so the, the box was made with mint macaron, so saffron, and then there is this um, Calypso coral accent. So those are the three colors I'm going to be making my wash with today. And then on Saturday, I will show you how I use that wash to create a special card. Okay, so let's get started. So I've got a piece of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. I've got a spritzer and I have my water painters. I also have a cup of water off to the side and I've got some paper towels ready in case I need them. And I have my three colors. So I've got the So Saffron, Calypso Coral, and Mint Macaron. Now these are the old stamp cases, so it's easier to squeeze these together just by putting your thumbs on the bottom of the case. You can get a little splotch of ink on the inside of the cover. The newer cases that look like this, this is the Coastal Cabana, no matter how hard I squeeze, and pinch that together, I only get a tiny bit of ink. And that, that might be okay, but I think that if you're using the newer stamp cases, you might just want to take your reinker and just put a, a couple of drops on the cover. I think it'll be easier for you. All right, now because I'm working wet and wet, I'm going to get my piece of plexiglass out to protect my surface. And I have some cut, oh, I'm not gonna use those, whoops. I'm gonna use these. I almost got my little palette out for a minute. So there's my yellow. My Calypso Coral and my Mint Macaron. And I'm just, I'm going to use my spritzer and I'm going to give the, the paper a couple of spritz. And I'm doing this away from my surface. Okay, and here are my water painters. I'm just going to grab my middle one to start with. Okay. 
and I'm, I'm just going to begin to put a light wash here and there. And I want to keep this very pale because I'm going to be stamping over the, the top of it. So this is just a very, very light wash. I'm just going to let these colors mix together. I want to be sure I get all the way to the edges of the paper because I want this to be an all over design. Need a little more of that green. So I'm just gonna give that a good press. I think my my pad could really use a uh, a re-inking, so I'm gonna go do that afterwards. I'm mixing plenty of water with that. And that's all there is to it. So there's my, my light wash. I think I could use a little more yellow. It's very delicate. It's very light. And it's absolutely perfect. For stamping over and for using as a background on, on my project. All right, now what I recommend you do is do a lot of these with different colors. You can use a, a little piece of scrap paper off to the side so that you can decide what what mixtures you'd like to use and just do several of them and then keep them handy for when you want to use this kind of a background You can just keep them as light or make them as, as dark as you want. So I think that's going to work for me today. That's what I'm looking for. And if you want to tune back on Saturday at 12 noon for Paper Crafting Saturday, I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do with this then and I'll give you a hint it's going to tie in with my pop-up card workshop coming right up so if you'd like to learn more please go to dandeliancottagedesign.com and you can subscribe to my newsletter notes and I'll have all the information you need about upcoming classes and events and um, and also some other tips and tricks that you might find interesting so thank you so much for joining me today and um, I'll see you Again, Saturday at 12 noon, I have something very special coming up, so you won't want to miss that. And in the meantime, practice at this and, and see if you can get some nice color combinations. I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. 
Stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you next time.